It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC East foes. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and we are underway from AT&T Stadium and a decent return out to the 27 yard line now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. Prescott off play action. And his first look is incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. They'll drop this underneath to Potter, and he's going to be down at the 35, game of seven. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They run it for the first time with Tony Polly. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it, okay? They got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. And that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out, they did. And there to stop him, Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gunner. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That one good for 37 yards. Execution was one of their large words leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun to give to Pollard. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. 
Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Second and six from the 10. Now Prescott. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks from four yards out. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. But down here, I thought they were going to hand that off. Instead, a well-designed play and the pitch and catch for the touchdown. And I wonder who came up with it. Was it a call from the bench? Did the quarterback have a good idea and suggest it? In any event, clearly an effective play call. They saw something they liked in coverage, and they targeted it for the short yardage start. And the perfect way to cap their opening drive. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield and don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25 yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Now a second and ten. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Stepped up shy of the 45 despite some pretty powerful running. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Hurt sets up to throw it. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. On first down, Hurts. He's got Smith here. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. 
And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They go play action with Hertz. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He's got exactly what you're looking for, the ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out on the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Throwing his hurts. Able to get away. Steps away to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. If they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. A first down throw for Prescott. That's dumped off to Pauly. And he'll get to the 29-yard line block down there. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's a second and five. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll find Ryan. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. They went through two-minute drill, and they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. 
partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Prescott now. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That'll allow him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. And this one is no good. He missed it. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And they can't bring him down. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Brings up second and three at the Cowboys 35 yard line. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Here's second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Swift. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Finds his target, it's Swift along the sideline. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 
Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Here's Swift. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's finished off with a five yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 16. On the left side, Gallup's got it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. First and 10 on the 31 yard line. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 33, here's a second and seven. Going to run again here with Pollard. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. It was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well, right at them and right up the middle. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A really nice gain of 25 yards.
from the 13 now they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Pass complete, he's got Hendershot. And just three yards on the catch there, he couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Now Prescott. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, <laughs> but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. And yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Luke Schoonmaker from 10 yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from drawing level. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Marquise Bell in on that stop. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hurts. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. A great job there, and that old cliche, taking what the defense gives you, comes right into play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in? On first and ten, it's Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Back to throw here. And that's out to the flat for Swift. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's in his space past the 25. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. And Jones has it over the middle. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up four. The kick by Elliott is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Man, open downfield is Gallup. He's got it. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now second and nine. Throwing, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half.
Here's third and three. Prescott to throw it. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And he missed it. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Man, that is deflating going into the break. You're in a position with a chance to tie the game, but this kick is off the mark, and they're going to remain three points down heading into the break. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback. That's Jalen Hurts. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. There he goes left side. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. 96 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it often. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On the option to give to Swift here. They'll yeah, get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field with his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Here's second and four from the 24. Hurt's going to keep it running right. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now down. they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. 
Herbert sets up to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. First down, and they go with Swift again. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is, I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Prescott off play action. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. Nine yards and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team.
taken in at the 22. A seven yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. Handful of carries last time out there, finish it off, Charles, with a short touchdown run. Yeah, and that's pretty nice for him to be able to do that because normally where they were on the field, it's going to take some muscle to get in there, right? It's going to take some power because things are so stacked up, well blocked, and he was able to get into the end zone somewhat safely. Yeah, that's the thing. Several of those carries last drive, he had some good holes, some good options. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Once again, it's Swift shouting through the defense. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Ball on the 47-yard line here, second and three. Throwing his hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he's across midfield to the 48. And five yards on the play there. It's a drive will continue. But first down, Hurts. No, oh, nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. From the gun, it's Hurts. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From the 20, here's second and three. Here's a handoff to Swift. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. They'll set up a throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. to the left there and complete to the tight end Goddard. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football. You control the clock and impose your will on the defense. Swift. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. 
holding offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score the and you see round. the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll get 11 yards back on the scramble as it brings up second down. Brings up second and goal. Gainwell fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. Only a yard on the gain there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. So a big, big kick coming down for Jake Elliott. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 79 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Play fake. Here's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. A good pick up there, a 20-yard. 
yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Prescott on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And again, it's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Prescott. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force him into going for three and not giving up six. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Now Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a five yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. Now for to understand where your escape patches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Aubrey good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. He's already hit Pater twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. 193 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Bust through the tackle. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. 
This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. And out now come the Cowboys. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. No, a heck of a move. Man. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line, the whole blockers off of them, and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. To throw is Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Off the play fake, Prescott. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Darius Slay with a pick. There he goes, left side. He's to the 15. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner and coverage there. And not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged. And it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. So the Eagle offense coming on here as he'll try for two points. Hertz will throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six, and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game 
with a good chunk of time on the clock. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Throw right side, take it in by Gallup. And they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards on the play. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Here's Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And the Cowboys first down. First and ten at the 39-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On play action, Prescott. Left side the Lamb. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. And this is caught for the Cowboy touchdown. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in. You know, I just grab the nugget when I can. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One-score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to the, on the other side of the ball and said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run out of the gun with Swift. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, here's Swift. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left.
Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Now Hurd's going to keep it running left. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This now a third and four. Here's Hurts to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Down to a knee goes Hurts, and that is going to be that. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Big D.